Simply stop asking the question, why? Who cares about why? Why doesn't matter? You know, why did you get here? Why did that happen? All these questions about why, 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 why me? Right? If we knew the answer to why, we could all, I don't know, write a book and go on Oprah and be super famous or something. But um, we don't know the answer to why. And have you ever noticed when you ask yourself why, say a relationship breaks up and you say, why, 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 why? Well, Tuesday, you've got one response. Oh, it was because my best friend did this or it was because I had this or, you know, whatever happened, right? Um, on Wednesday, your answer is completely different right you've constructed a whole other story about why so when we answer the question why why is really a story we tell ourselves about something we think happened we construct it in our minds it's not the truth it's not really the truth so forget about why move away from the why what's more important is the question how how am I going to get from where I am to where I want to be? Right? Do you see the difference? Why did I get here? That's about the past. How am I going to, how am I going to make it work right now where I am? How am I going to, going to get to where I need to be? Those are questions you can answer because you can create a plan. You can create a strategy. You can find people to help you. You can, um, you can even just play with different ideas about what the future might look like. So every little action you take along the way to figuring out the, the how part is what gets you one step closer to being in that place. So stop asking why, start asking how. And as we get through all the turmoil and the pain, ladies, guess what? There's life again. There's there's a rebirth, there's a renewal, and there's beauty again. And at times we go through these difficult, all, at all times we go through these difficult learning experiences to get us to the next point in our lives, to the next level in our lives. And so out of this decay and chaos, we become stronger. We become more sure, more confident, we have a knowingness now where we know where we're going because we've done this thing and it hasn't worked. But out of that chaos, we have learned something. We have learned that we are strong. We have learned that we are wise. We have learned that we are capable. We have, and we have survived that. So you take that and you go on with it because there is this unique person emerging One of the things you can do is something that we call navigating by joy. And how do you navigate by joy? Well, your feelings can be like road signs along the highway of life, so to speak. When you feel bad, pay attention. Move away from that. It's like, oh gosh, we talk always about the fight or flight instinct, right? Sometimes you'd hit controversy and you'd hit conflict and you'd fight about it. Other times you just go, and you back away, right? You can do the same thing with, uh, with your life in general. Because, um, because it served you well in the past, you know uh, how to pay attention to do I fight, do I flee kind of thing. Do I stay, do I go? You already know that. So pay attention to that and use that in your everyday life. Build on that. So how do you build on that? You build on this by incorporating concepts of joy into it. Pay attention, right? Are is something saying to you, back away, you're not ready for this? Is something saying to you, go for it, it feels really, really good? Navigating by joy is about using these instincts we have, using these feelings we have to teach us, to show us what we want to move towards, and what we want to move away from, right? So, how does that work? Well, if you're looking for a job and you go in somewhere and you're thinking, hmm, this job feels great. The space feels good. The people seem nice. Everybody gets me. They get me. You might notice you feel a little happy. You feel a little joyful. 
right? Move towards the joy, right? Navigate your life towards that. Life is filled up with moments and you get to decide if you're moving towards the joy. You get to decide. My dog's moving towards his joy. He wants to be here. Um, you get to decide. Are you going to move towards that joy? The more you move towards joy, the more joyful your life will become. It's just like navigating a ship. It's just like driving the car, right? And the feelings are the signposts along the way. So navigate by joy. Think about that.